Hey, how are you doing, Ricardo? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> nice to see you. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you, Tiki. All right. Okay, you saying... sorry. Huh? Yesterday, I, I, I couldn't attend classes because uh, we had a problem. So, <laughs> you had a problem with what, I'm sorry? It's a problem in my my in my own. <laughs> oh, okay, don't worry about that. Thank you for being so early. All right, I'm glad that you're here. Hey, uh, one question for you: Did you did you finish the platform? Yes, I, I finished the, the platform. You finished the platform. All right, <laughs> very good job. Very good. Very good. Hello, Luis. Nice to see you. Hello. Hey, uh, no, yeah, no. I was sick. You're sick. What? What do you? I, what? Do you, what do you get? Yeah. Uh, flu. I think it's the correct way to say. It. You you got the flu, All right? All right. Yeah. Um. Well, thank you for being so. Uh, how was your day today? How was work? Really hard, busy today. I have a lot today? of things to do because I have two days with with incapacidad. I don't know how they say it. Okay, uh, so incapacity just just call it like that if you want, but you had uh, permission from from your uh, health insurance company. Oh, work from uh, yeah. you had you had you had a um, you had you had permission from your you had a permit from the uh, health insurance company. Yeah. All right. Very good, man. Very good. Very good. Okay. Hey, I finished the platform too. Oh, you finished the platform? Okay. Uh, yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. The platform is the most the most important thing. Uh, thank you for connecting though, because even though you you finished the okay, you you're you're connected, so that's very good. All right. I want to send a message to everybody else right now, guys. Okay. So um, so give me one moment. So tell me about your day, man. So how's everything going? Like, what do you do? Today? I. Uh, I I interview all the day. You what? All you the day. You interviewed. I have a. Yeah, I make interviews. Yes, I make interviews all day. Uh, one like, hour for interviews. You you mean to to hire people? Yeah, to hire people. I am recruitment. Oh, you're in recruitment. Very good, man. Uh, you make the interviews yes. in Spanish or English? Spanish. I have all my interviews in Spanish. Oh, I, guess I need to learn because English because I'm I'm going to interview to in English too. Oh, you're gonna interview in I'm English. Going to make interview in English. Hey, that's that's, yes. awesome, man. that's really in the future. Cool. Yes, that's really really cool. Okay, I'm glad to have you here, man. Yeah. All right. Uh very good job. What about you? Uh, what about you, Ricardo? Is there anything interesting that you did today? Uh, for me, <laughs> it, it, I, I couldn't understand the, the, what, what, what was the question. <laughs> okay, is there is there anything interesting that you did today? Yeah, not not really. But, uh, it's uh, it's uh, always a uh, hard work. Uh, it's a uh, a resolve the problem. This is uh, not not mass interesting <laughs> for me. Okay, that's not the most inter interesting thing for you, okay? All right, I got that. What about you, um, Arturo Grimaldi? How was your day today? What do you do? I'm uh, very busy. Very busy, why? But yeah, Because I made a dashboard in the morning and the, after lunch, I... You mean I a, learned a dashboard in the morning? To what do you, create what do you mean? a uh -huh. morning, I make I made a dashboard. Dash, dashboard. Okay, in the morning you made a dashboard. After that, mm -hmm. and after that, I I learned to create uh, SDN. It's a it's like a Payment order. Okay. I learned right. because I never, I have never 
done that. Okay, you, you've never done that. I got you. Well, what about you, Victor? What, what have you done today? Anything interesting? Hi, good evening. No, just at work. Just, uh, I'm still at work, so so that's why I don't, don't turn on the camera. But it was a a good day uh, with a little job, but, but okay, everything fine. Thanks. It it was a pretty busy day. Okay, I got you. Very good, very good. All right, guys. So we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday. All right. So guys, all right, so let's take a look. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the two type of clauses that we have, okay? So first off, we got uh, the relative clauses as subjects, and then we got the relative clauses as objects, right? So so first of all, all right, so who can tell me, who can tell me what the difference is between them two? Uh-huh. Let's see, uh, Ricardo. So, what is what is the difference between a relative clause is being used as subject, and the relative clause between a uh, uh, and the relative clause uh, used as as an object? Can you give me an example of a relative clause used as a, as a subject? So, subject is uh, when the, the one thing is, is a, it's a very difficult to explain explain it, <laughs> uh, but it's about uh, is uh, uh, when this this the the object is at the beginning uh, is uh, for example uh, one thing is a um, is mm -hmm. a subject uh, so when the 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 the, the opposite is when this, the subject is when the when when uh, we use a, a subject at the beginning of the conversation. Uh, the next is the the relative clause. Uh, the join 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 the 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 is 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 in the first the first st uh, the first part of the sentence. Okay, it's in the okay, it's if it's in the first part of the sentence. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so that that would actually make it a make it a the subject of the sentence. All right, very good. Okay, so can you give me an example? Who can you give me an example, guys? Let's see, Arturo Grimaldi. All right, so can you give me an example? Um, I'm lost. I don't know. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, I remember one thing. Relative clauses. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing. I one thing that that I do when I was. <laughs> okay. One thing that I would oh, do. One thing uh -huh. that I would do. Uh -huh. And if I win the lottery. Okay, if I won the lottery in that case, uh-huh. Uh, I won the lottery. One thing that I do if I won the lottery. Buy, buy a house. Is buying is a house. house. Remember? Remember guys, when we use the when we use the uh the verb to be the, the 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 verb okay the verb that follows has to be in ing form it <clears throat> has to be in it has right. to be in in what guys all right it has to be in ing form guys okay all right so don't forget about that all right uh other than that that's pretty much it okay so all right so just as a reminder guys okay <clears throat> all right so first of all, guys, when we're talking about um, a relative clause just as an, just as an object, okay, remember it has to be, is it at the beginning or at the end? If we use it as a subject, beginning. it is at the beginning, right? All right, so let's say, so one thing, all right, so let's take a look at the, at the example, guys, okay? So one thing, hold on, let me, here we go, okay. So one thing I I miss, okay, I really miss. So you can say, for example, you can change this, guys. Okay, you you might not be using, uh, you don't necessarily need to be using the same example, right? Let me go ahead and share the whiteboard here. Okay, so let's get let's let's go ahead and give me more examples, guys. Okay, so one thing, okay, one thing I'd be interested interested in, okay, one thing you I'd be interested in. Interested in, okay, or you can say a uh, one thing I'd uh, 
one thing I do. Okay, so th all of those are relative clauses, okay? All right, but let's focus on, on the examples that we got so far. So uh, according to this, guys, the first example, one thing I'd be, I'd miss, I'd really miss, let's say that you travel, you travel to another country, okay? So we got one thing I'd really miss is, all right, so we either use a noun or we use a gerund here, okay? So, so one thing that I'd really miss, what, what would you come up with? Uh, who can give me an example of this? Mm-hmm. I'm sending a message to everybody. It's, it's, it's sleeping in my bed. It's sleeping in my bed, right? Okay, good job. All right, remember, guys, when we use when we use the verb be here, uh, we don't we don't have to use the the verb be in the base form, right? We have to use it in um, we have to use it in the ing form in a gerund, right? So one thing I'd miss is sleeping in my bed. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so who can give me an example, guys, using the relative clauses? I mean, using the relative clause as the object of, of the sentence. All right, so who'd like to give me an example like that? All right, let's see, all right. Uh, one thing I be. Tell him. One thing. One thing I, I'd be interested. I'd be interested. Okay, and is is be interesting. What uh, is uh, reading? You mean reading like this? Reading, yes. Uh -huh. Historical book. Okay, historical. Okay, historical books. Okay, good job, man. Good job, Raptor. Good job. Right. All right. Very good, guys. All right, so one thing I'd be interested in, uh, I'd be interested in is reading historical books. Now, who can give me an example, guys, using this as the object of the sentence and not, and not the subject of the sentence? All right, Jose Armando, right? Let's, let's go ahead and give me an example using this as the object of the sentence and not as the, as the, sub, as the subject. Go for it, Jose. Are you there? Jose, five, four, three, two. All right, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Elena, are you there, Elena? All right, no, Elena. Uh, Luis Medrano, okay, so give me an example using the relative clause as the object of the sentence. Uh, okay, I'm going to try it. Uh, me, the, the bike I use, the bike which I used was stolen. The bike I used, um, I used was stolen. Okay. That um, I used, that I used okay, was stolen. The, the, the bike that I used was stolen, okay. All right, is this great guys? Where, where do you see the relative clause here? I said the bike that I used. Okay, right, the bike, okay, but again, right, the bike that, okay, the bike yeah. that I used, right, was stolen, okay? All right, now, remember, guys, okay, so let's start, let's use the examples that we get here, right? So, uh, according to this example, oh, all right, there we go. All right, so according to this example, guys, okay, so remember, one thing that I miss all right, or you can use, um, or you can say, for example, uh, something that I've been nervous about, all right? Now, remember, I'm gonna, uh, I want you to, if this isn't as the, as the object of the sentence. Now, let me ask you something, guys. Does the object of the sentence come at the, at the beginning of the sentence or does it come at the end of the sentence? What do you think? The end. At the end of the sentence, right? Okay, very good. So yeah. let's see, guys. Who can give me, who can give me this example? Okay, but using a, a relative clause as the object of the sentence. Uh huh. Go, go for it. Ricardo. Go for it. 
Sleeping in my bed is one thing I really miss. Sleeping in my bed is one is... thing I okay I really okay I really uh, miss. Okay, good job. Plus for Ricardo, guys. Good job, Ricardo. Good, 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 good hey. job. Okay, so sleeping in my bed is all right is one thing that I really miss. Okay. So sleeping, guys, is that the is that the subject of the sentence? What do you think? Is that uh, the, the subject or the of the object of the sentence? It's the object. object. <laughs> it is the ob it is the subject, guys. Because so here we have the subject of the, the sentence. Subject, the subject. All right. Now, what what is the what is the object of the sentence here? Something I really miss. One thing, one thing I really missed, right? Very good, guys. Okay, so um, do you have any questions regarding that, guys? Or can we go ahead and solve the, uh, the first exercise after that? All right, do you want to go ahead and solve the exercise? All right, so let's see, uh, Ricardo. All right, so one thing I would be excited by, what do you think the, the answer for that, the, for that question is? Uh, uh, one thing, uh, let me check it. Okay. okay. All right. One, one thing, thing I, uh -huh. I will be excited by by is trying trying the 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 local food. Okay. One thing I'd be excited uh, by is okay by, is is trying trying the local food. Okay. Very good job. Okay, so number two, Arturo Grimaldi, right? Give me number two. Um, the most thing I would be about. Oh, okay, hold on. What is it? The most. The most, the most thing. The most thing, okay. That, that, uh, that I be, that I would be curious about is. Okay, is that... Cu repeat curious, repeat Q. A bit Q. Curious. Everybody curious. go. Q. Q. Curious. Q. Curious. Curious. Okay. Q Very curious. Good. Curious. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm sending out. Yeah. If you receive the message right now, guys, that's just part of the broadcast. Okay. So ignore it if you're here connected. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So you say one. So you said like this, right? One thing I'd be curious about is meeting new people. Is that correct? Would that be correct, guys? I I would I would be curious about. All right, now I this is the contraction, guys. Okay, so when you use I, guys, remember that that is the contraction for I would, right? So instead of saying I would, you would say something like I, right? Everybody, I. Repeat I. I. Okay, very good. Guys. I, okay, so that's going to be I, okay? Very good. All right, so number three, who would like to give me the answer for number three? Let's see. I, I can. All right. Uh, let's go, Luis. Uh, something I will be anxious about is not understanding the language. Okay, so something I'd be anxious about is not understanding. All right, understanding the the language. Okay. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers, guys. All right, I think, uh, okay, so he's trying local food. All right, so the answer here, guys, okay, it's not the full answer. So what would be, what would be the answer for number two then? 
the most the most the most the most thing i no i'd be curious about okay. is okay so the most curious thing uh huh no. the most the most curious thing what i what are we missing i'd be Okay, I, okay, I, hold on, so I, B, uh-huh. About. Okay, all right, no. very good, okay, so I, the most curious thing I'd be, I'd be about, are you sure? Is that the right answer? Uh, I have another answer. All right, all right, go for it, go for it. Uh, the thing I will be the most curious about. Okay, the thing that I'd be most the curious I... about. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's yeah. meeting new people. Okay, all right. They, they, only uh, I make the exercise and you only can use the, the word in parentheses. You can add words. Exactly. You can only use the word in parentheses, right? Okay. So what will yeah. be what will be, what will be the right answer here? Because it's, it's still not taking it. Uh, uh, okay. I can repeat because yes. I have a different that do 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 right. Yes. Go for it. The the thing I will be. Uh huh. The most curious about. Okay. The thing that I would be the most. The most curious, curious about is like this. Uh, we, don't know. we don't have is in in the parentheses because it's in the end the sentence. All right, very good, very good. Okay, yes, you got it. Okay, all right. So I don't know. It's a submitting. All right, so let's go. All right, so that 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 will I assume that eventually that that will come up eventually. All right, so let's take a look at the third one, right? So there is something. And the, uh -huh. well, it doesn't have the shape. So what about the third one? The third one is only wood and not the, and we, we can use the contraction. That's what the, they give you the uh, bad answer. Okay, all right, hold on. I, I just refreshed this, so let's see what, what comes up. Okay, so yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the one, all right? You know, one second here. Oh, okay, all right, this one is the right one. Okay, very good. So the third one, so what would be the answer for the third one then? What do you think the answer would be like? I have the answer, but without the contraction, yeah. Okay, so that would be something, something I would, like this, something I would? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so something I would be anxious about is not understanding the language, okay? Maybe we don't need a dot here. Are you sure you that need we... to erase the, the not understanding the language because you only need to use the, 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 the words in parentheses, not all the sentences. Very good job, man. Okay, very good job. All right, guys, applause for you. Nice answer. Very good job. Very good job, okay? All right, guys, so that's, that's pretty much it, okay? All right, so for everybody, so so for anyone who didn't finish this, guys, okay, so this will be the right answers for this, okay? Guys, do you have any questions regarding relative clauses? Any questions? Are you ready? To when we on? have to use, when we have to use these, these clauses, when I think it's uh -huh. so necessary because in Spanish, almost we didn't use. Actually, we use it a lot in, in any language. Um, so these guys, this is actually used uh, whenever you, you're going to give your opinion about something, right? So okay. if I ask you, hey, hey Arturo, what, what are you interested in? What, what, would, hmm. what, what would you be interested in, right? So if you ask a question like this, guys, what would you be? Mm -hmm. what, what would you be interested in, okay? So what would you be interested in? Oh, you know what? I'd be interested in, interested in uh, painting. Painting, um, I don't know, painting uh, buildings, okay? Painting architecture, all right? Do you want some bread? 
All right, remember, guys, that whatever whatever you teach here, whatever we teach here, is actually part of the uh, of a regular conversation, right? All right. So, yes. hey, what what do you think about politics? Okay, so I think that you know um, one thing that I think that the the government would change would change is all right. So it, it's just a regular conversation, guys. Okay, all right. So yes, guys, okay. you, you use it a lot. You use it a lot, especially when you're having a, a any type of conversation, right? So that's something we're, that we're gonna practice right now, guys, okay? So very good question, man. We do use it. We do use it, Arturo, it's not that we don't use it uh, in English or in Spanish, we use it a lot. We just didn't know that that is called a, a, uh, a relative clause, all right? So <laughs> rather than that, uh, good question. Good, good, good question, right? Uh, does anybody else have another question? Any other question, guys? No, no sure. questions whatsoever. Okay, beautiful job. Okay, all right. So we're gonna practice, guys. Uh, that concludes pretty much section number five. Okay, we're the only thing we're, that we're missing is expectations. Okay, so now, guys, we're gonna talk about expectations today. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh my God, that thing is not loading here. All right, there we go. Oh. Hey guys, by the way, um, who has completed the platform? Did you all complete the platform? Me, teacher. I'm all right, Victor, the Jose. Certificate. Oh, you Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, right. you what about, what about, what about the rest, guys? Did, did you complete the platform? Particularly cultural. Nice. Hold yes. on. All right, there we go. Yes. All right. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Okay. All right, guys. Remember the most important thing. What What is the most the most important thing here? It is to complete the platform. Okay. All right. So now, uh, we're gonna talk about. Hold on. Let me. There we go. Okay. We're gonna talk about expectations, guys. Okay. So now, what do we know about what do we know about uh, expectations, guys? What what do you think an expectation is? Who can tell me what an expectation is? Me, teacher. Huh? Me, teacher. What? Go for it. Go for it, teacher. Uh, an expectation is. In an action that we culture cultural expect in a situation, I think like, like that. Okay, all right. So something. Okay, you 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 said a culture a cultural expectation. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, in, in in other countries or in other culture, it's different. Okay, all right. So let's see who has a different opinion, guys. What do you think? What do you think an expectation is? Huh? Me. All right. Let's. Uh, do you think it's going to happen in the? Okay. So do you think that it's going to happen in the future? Okay. All right. So that that is an expectation. You're, you're right about that. All right, so let's take a look at the examples that we got here, okay? So let's see, uh, Luis, what is your favorite color? Maybe blue. Luis, what, what's your favorite? Oh, blue, okay, all right, let's see. Allison, you got blue eyes, Allison, all right? So Allison, help me read the first example. All right, Allison? Uh, hello, teacher. Tell me. Uh, okay. Uh, when you visit someone, it's a custom to bring in a small gift. You aren't supposed to arrive early. Okay. So when you visit someone, it's a custom to bring a small gift. All right, guys. What is the meaning of custom? Who can, even if you don't know, guys, what do you think custom means? Me, uh, tell me. Uh, it's something that you 
make it a, a, again and again and repeat and repeat. Okay, it's something, okay, all right? It's something that, very good job, okay? That, that's actually one, a good definition. Uh, it's something that you can do over uh, again and again, right? So it's something that you can do over. Everybody repeat, do over. Do over. Right? So like this, guys, do over, guys. Okay, so do over means to repeat something, okay? All right, beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. All right. Okay. So, all right. So now about expectations, guys. Okay. So what do you think, what do you think that, um, that are the words, uh, that, I'm sorry. What do you think the words for, uh, expectations are? Here? What is the phrase that you hear, that you see here, guys, that, that portrays expectations? Uh-huh. Everybody, is the costume to repeat, guys? It's the costume to all right. You it's are the costume to very okay. Everybody, repeat, aren't supposed to repeat. You aren't supposed to, you aren't supposed to. Okay, beautiful. All right, beautiful, beautiful job. Okay. All right, so now, guys, expectation is, guys, when you are expecting someone to, to, to do something for you, right? So let me ask you this. According to the first example, guys, what should be done, okay? So what should be done when you visit someone? So who can answer that question? So what should be done when you visit someone? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell me. You should call after, before, before you went. Okay. Before you go, you mean, okay? Before you go, okay? You should call after, be, before You're you okay. go. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, the custom is to bring a small gift. Okay. So the custom, the example is here. All right, it is a costume to bring a small gift. All right, beautiful. All right, so when you visit someone, what is another thing that you're not supposed to do? Jessica, welcome, Jessica. Nice to see you. Uh, so, Victor, all right, Victor, tell me, what is something that you're not supposed to do when you visit, I mean, when you arrive early? <clears throat> when you visit someone. Oh yeah, yeah. When you're you visit someone, yeah. <laughs> you're not... yeah, when you when you visit someone, I'm sorry, huh? You aren't supposed to arrive early. You aren't supposed to arrive early, right? Very good job, guys. Okay. All right. According to the second example, guys. So, uh, so if you want to bring someone, what are you expected to do? Huh? You are expected to call first and ask. Okay, very good job, okay? You are expected to call first and ask, okay? All right, beautiful. Um, what is another thing that you're supposed to do when you want to bring someone? You're supposed to. <laughs> you're supposed to what? You're supposed to check with the host. You're supposed to check with the host. Repeat, guys, host. 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 Beautiful. Oh. Okay, right. I right. and the last thing that you're supposed to do here. It's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. All right, it's not acceptable to uh, to arrive without calling first. Okay. All right, do my favor, guys. Everybody, uh, do my favor and write down the example that we got here, guys. All right. So it when. All right. So now this is this is this is the structure uh, that you're that you're gonna use, guys. Okay. All right. First of all, guys, we have the if clause. The if clause. We have the if clause. Okay. If, clause. The if or when clause, guys. Okay. So, all right. So this means, guys, that you can say, you can say either. Okay. You can say either when, you can say uh, when you visit someone or you can say if you visit someone okay 
Now, let's substitute someone for someone more interesting, guys. Okay, let's, if you visit, I'm sorry, if you visit Cheyenne, okay? <laughs> All right. So if you visit Cheyenne, guys. All right, you can, what I'm trying to say, guys, is that you can still substitute someone with any, any subject, okay? So if you visit someone or when you visit someone, it means exactly the same, okay? So, all right, so when you visit someone, what else? What else are you not supposed to do? <coughs> Jessica, what else are you not supposed to do, Jessica? When you visit if, someone? If I visit someone, I, I, I am supposed to call first. Okay, you are supposed to call first, okay? All right, so you're supposed to call first, guys, right? Very good. All right, so when you visit someone, um, you are supposed. Now, guys, is it supposed or supposed? What do you think? Supposed. Okay, guys, in this case, you always use supposed, okay, in the past, okay? You are supposed to call someone, okay? Very good. All right, now, when you, um, let's take a look at the second example. When you visit someone, all right, what else? Uh, what else are you supposed to do or you're not supposed to do? What do you think? Um, Armando or Jessica, all right, Jessica, give me another one. Okay. Huh? If you go to the doctor. Uh -huh. If you go to the doctor. You, you are uh huh. So if you go to the doctor, if you go to the doctor, I'm sorry. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Oh, guys, can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can see you, Jessica. Jessica, you're muted, Jessica. I don't know why. Uh, so when you visit the doctor, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to. Get a, a flu. To to what? Get a flu. Get a flu. Okay. Get a flu. Get a flu. Yeah. Like like a flu, like, like that. Yes. Okay. Right. Or, or, the, the 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 sentence. Okay. The sentence is good, guys. The sentence is absolutely okay. All right, it's just the, the idea, okay? When you visit someone, you're supposed to get, you're not supposed to get a flu, okay? So in this case, guys, you can say you're not, repeat guys, you're not supposed to get a, to get a flu. Repeat, you're not supposed to get a flu. You're not supposed to be a flu. You're not supposed to get a flu, right? You're supposed to get a flu. Very good job, guys, okay? All right, very good. All right, so now, do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions regarding this topic? Yes, no. All right, do my favor right now. Okay. All right, do my favor. All right. So everybody write down your examples. I want three examples in your notebook. Okay. If you don't have any questions, guys, uh, let's send those examples in your notebook right now. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna ask you to share them with me. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so we got another example here. Meanwhile, right? Uh if the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip, all right. So let's see, uh, Ronnie. Hey, nice to see you, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. All right. So give me, give me another example, guys. Give me, give me another example, Ronnie. Oh. With if, okay. If you're using um, the if clause, uh huh? Um, if if you want to learn English, you. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> if you don't miss want the class to learn English, <laughs> you don't need the class. <laughs> you don't. You don't need the class. You miss. You don't miss. Okay. Now remember, you aren't. Repeat. You aren't. <laughs> uh, repeat. You aren't, you aren't supposed to aren't. miss the class. Good job. All right. Very good job. You're following the structure. Good. Good. Good job. Applause, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the example number two, okay? All right, so who'd like to give me another example, guys? Me, teacher. 
Me, teacher, one, two, three. Teacher. Go, go for it. If you want to go to work, you're supposed to use a mask. If you want to go to work, you suppose or you're supposed? You're supposed. You're supposed to wear a mask. Good job, guys. Good, 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 good job, okay? All right, guys. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. So far, so good? All right, very good, guys. So let's talk about expectations then. Okay, guys, let's play a Pictionary game, okay? All right, so let's see. Allison, are you there, Allison? Uh, hello, teacher. I'm not at home, and I can draw oh. Oh, today. You're not, you're not at home? Okay, right, I got you. Arturo, are you at home? All right, would you like to draw? Drunk. No, would you like to draw? To draw. <laughs> to draw. Drunk. Would you like to draw? <laughs> draw, 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 like this. I don't like it, but I can try it if you want. Okay, do me a favor. Send me an example on the WhatsApp group so I can send you a message of what you're going to draw, okay? All right, meanwhile, guys, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to do, okay? Um, so basically, guys, Arturo is going to draw something, and you have to give me a sentence, all right, using, uh, using one of the clauses that we talked about today, okay? So you can use the when clause, or you can use the if clause, okay? So pretty much, guys, uh, this is the reason why I needed you to write down the examples, because you're going to give me an example like this, okay? All right, like the one that we have on the screen. Hold on. All right, so you are going to give me an example using this, uh, using this structure, guys. This one, right there, this one that we got right here, okay? So you're going to give me an example like that, okay? So if I, if I, if I tell Arturo to, to uh, if I tell Arturo to draw Cheyenne, he's going to draw Cheyenne, you have to tell me one thing, okay? Or you can tell me, uh, when you visit Cheyenne, right, you should bring flowers, okay? Uh, or the costume, it's a costume to bring flowers, okay? Or if you want to bring Cheyenne to a party, you're, you're expected to call first, okay? So you're gonna give me an example, guys, with whatever I tell Arturo to draw. Is it clear? Yes, 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 yes. okay, very good, guys, very good, okay? So Arturo, all right, let's see what are your drawing skills. All right, Arturo, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna send you a message right now to the WhatsApp group. Oh, Arturo, do my favor. Send, send me a message on the WhatsApp group so I can know who you are. Okay. All right. Me. And I'm going to give you control over my computer right now. Okay, I got you, man. I got you, got you, got you, got you. All right, so do my favor. Can you test if, the, um, if you have control over my computer? Oh, I can see yeah, that you're moving the cursor. All right, there you go, there you go, okay, you do. All right, so you're gonna draw. Okay. Got it? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's participate. I'm gonna be asking each of you, okay? Ooh. All right, tell him. <laughs> what is that, man? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't, what, I can't draw. What, I try it, man, try it. What do you think it is, Jessica? I can't draw anymore. <laughs> oh, you see, uh, can't draw anymore. Okay, hold on. Right. Try, to, try to do it right now. Try to do it right now. It is a place? Oh. Uh, not, no, not guys. No, guys, it's, it's not a place, no. It's a uh, mm -hmm. it's a frosty. frosty. <laughs> it's not a frosty, guys. Okay, all right. Let's try to get to get what it is. Uh huh. It's Pinocho. It's not Pinocchio. It's, a... it's not Pinocchio. 
It's a what? Yeah. A snowman. Uh, no, it's not a snowman. No, a very good, very good guess, though, but it's not a snowman. It's an elf. It's a, it's no. an elf. No, it's not an elf. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Right, right. It's you having a drink. Two more minutes. Okay. All right. Try to try to draw something that represents, you know, that represents your your drawing, man. All right. It's not that difficult to draw that, man, right? <laughs> no. Guys, okay, all right. So he draws something relative to, um, that is uh, related to, to, the, to the character that he's trying to, that, that he's drawing. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> huh, Ronnie? <laughs> No, no, Arturo? Um, piñata. Piñata? Is, is that a piñata? No, it's not a piñata. No. <laughs> it's a firulais. It's not a firulais, no. Come on, Arturo. Give, uh, just, uh, a, man, a man it's throwing trash? It's not trash, no. It's not, it's not <laughs> a man throwing, throw, um, you know, getting rid of uh, his trash, no. It's a bird. Uh, Yes. Um. No, it's not. Bear. It's not a. It's a it's, bird. It's not a verb. No, it's not a verb. Bird. Ah, bird. Bird. No, bird. It's, not, it's not a verb. No. What? Come on, Arturo. Arturo is fighting there, right? <laughs> Right. All right, let, let me let me let me try, guys. Let me try it. Let me try it. Okay, guys. Right, so let's. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do yeah. something different. Okay. All right. So it's like this. Okay, and we got something like this. Yeah. Easy. All right. So what is it, guys? What is it? What do you think it is, guys? It's Spiegel. What? It's a boo. A boo. A boo. <laughs> no, guys. Okay, a teddy bear. No. All right. No. Okay, right, you, you kind of got it. Okay, guess it, guys. Guess it, okay? All right. All right. So, what is it, guys? He's going in. All right, very good, guys. Very, very good. Okay, good job. So, who said Winnie Pooh, guys? Who said Winnie Pooh first? Alison, was that you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe at the same time. Ladies, all right, very good, Alison. <laughs> good job, Alison. All right, Alison. So give me, give me a sentence, okay? So Alison, good job. Plus for Alison, guys, come on, give it a round of applause, okay? Thanks, thanks everybody. Good job. All right, very good. All right, so, uh, okay. so give if me an you, example. if you buy some something at Walmart, it, Walmart is supposed to give you a guarantee. Okay, if you buy something at Walmart, all right, uh, and then, then you said um, Walmart. Or it Walmart. is supposed to. Walmart is supposed to give you a warranty. Repeat, guys, warranty. Warranty. Okay, uh, guarantee, guys, it's different, right? Okay, so guarantee something, it's the verb. Okay, warranty is a noun, okay? So, uh, very good job, okay? So, if you buy something at Walmart, all right, um, Walmart is supposed to give you, I mean, to um, supposed to give you a warranty. It is. Good job. Good, good, good job, guys. Very, very good, okay? I post for Allison, guys. Good job, Allison. Hi, for Allison. All right, guys. Who who else who else would like to draw, guys? All right. So we got Allison on Allison on first place right now. Who wants to draw, guys? Who wants to draw? Who else wants to draw? Mm hmm. Ah, Jessica, you have a face like you want to draw. All right. Applause for Jessica, guys. Good job, Jessica. Jessica's gonna draw tonight. 
<laughs> I just got. <laughs> no. Of course you want to, okay? Beautiful. Thank you for 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 volunteering. No problem. All right, Jessica. Okay. So, uh, do my favor, send me a message right now, so I can give you what you're gonna draw right now, okay? Oh, remote control, Jessica. All right. So you got control. Uh, you know, you got remote control over my computer right now. Okay. So let's see, Jessica. All right, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna draw. that oh, okay <laughs> all right so let's go um, okay. <laughs> all right all right uh-huh so let's let's start drawing okay let me clear the image here all right let's go let's go hold on guys let me let me mute yourselves guys okay hold on because somebody's talking there about the izquierda derecha i don't know what that is oh that, that was you jessica okay all right, continue, Jessica. All right, guys. So, who do you think? Who do you think that is? A finger. Oh, a, yeah. finger a finger. <laughs> what is it? Finger. What is it? Finger. Cheyenne. That is Cheyenne, guys. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> who, said, who said Cheyenne. it first, guys? Who said it first? <laughs> That's Cheyenne. All right, who said it first? Can you remember who said it first? Me. All right, Arturo. Okay, let's go, Arturo. All right, Arturo. So give me, uh, give me a clause using when. Okay, so you're gonna use when about Chan. When you go to a concert, uh, when you go to a Chayanne's concert. Uh -huh. Very good, huh? Uh, it's suppose. No, you're supposed uh -huh. to buy tickets. <laughs> to buy to tickets. See, uh, to buy tickets. All right, very good. Post for Arturo, guys. Good job, Arturo. Good, good job. Okay, so yeah. If you go or when you go to a chance concert, you're supposed to buy tickets. Okay. Beautiful, guys. Okay, so we got we got eight minutes, guys. Is it is it all clear, guys? Is it all clear? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Guys, have you, uh, let me ask you something. Have you all finished the platform? Have you finished the, uh, have you finished the platform? Yes, I do. No, okay, right. All right, so we're going to work on that right now, guys. Tomorrow, guys, uh, guys, it's very important, like extremely important that you finish the platform uh, before Friday, okay? All right. Really, really important. So everybody, let's go to section five point eight. Okay. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and do the knowledge check. All right. So uh, let's see who like to give me the answer for number one. So customs, uh, customs in the United in the United States and Canada. All right. So if you plan to visit someone at home. What is the right answer to this? You're supposed to call, to call first. first. Okay, you are. Hold on. Holy. All right, yes, guys, you are. Hold on, my mouse is not working too uh, too well. All right, so you're supposed to call. So you're supposed to call first. Good job. Uh, if you've been if you've been to a friend's home, uh, for dinner, what 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 should you do? What what should you do? Acceptable to share the expenses. Okay, uh, you're expected. I'm sorry, you're accept. It's accept acceptable to share the expenses. So if no, you've been to you a have, friend's home for it's, dinner, is the is the cost to, to call and thank, thank him, him or, or her. her? Very good job, guys. Okay, so now when you have invited you, when you have been invited to a wedding. What 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 should what what are you expected to do? What or, or what is the custom? You're expected to respond in writing. You're oh, yeah. expected to respond in writing. Very good job. Okay, so number number four. All right, what is number Wait. four? It's acceptable to share the things. 
Okay, when you go when you go out on a date, it's acceptable to share the expenses. The expenses, right? Sure. Very good. Yeah. All right, number five. What is number five? You expected to leave a tip. You are expected to leave a tips. All right, you're expected to leave a trip, a tip, right? Very good. Okay, if if the service in a restaurant is good, you're expected to leave a tip. All right, number six. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. All right, let's take a look at the answers. Very good job, guys. Applause for you. Beautiful job, guys. So that is the right answer for uh, that is the right answer for the last exercise here. Okay, beautiful job, guys. Guys, do you have any question regarding one of the uh, one of the topics that we've gone we've gone so far? Questions? Ask me any questions, guys. Okay, whatever questions you 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 might come up with right now. Um, let's uh, use these uh, these five minutes to come up with questions that you might uh, that you might come across. Okay. So do you have any questions regarding um, regarding this um, these exercises? No, yes? Yeah. All right, beautiful guys. So tomorrow guys, we're gonna go, uh, tomorrow guys, we're gonna have a grammar review about the topics that we've, we've given so far, okay? And we're gonna complete the platform together. Please guys, please, please, please join the class. It's, it's the last day guys, okay? This is the last day. Uh, let's say goodbye. Jessica is gonna buy you a cake, okay? So Jessica nos va a comprar un pastel a todos para despedida. All right. So, <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Uh, but yeah, you guys, join, uh, join in because um, so it's the last day, and also, guys, because we have to, we have to go through the um, through the final exam, okay? And the final exam is this. So uh, finish it today, guys. If you haven't done the final exam, go ahead and finish it today. Uh, tomorrow we'll go through that, but we're not gonna go through that. Only guys, we're gonna review the grammar topics, okay? We're gonna review the grammar topics that we see here. All right, guys, so um, that's it, guys. That is pretty much it. Any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions? All good? No questions. No, teacher. No questions. Okay. All right, do uh, do me a favor, please join early tomorrow, guys. Okay. So Jose, Elena, Allison, Victor, Jessica, uh, Ronnie, Arturo, Ricardo. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Um, let's enjoy the last day that we got uh, that we're gonna be together tomorrow, guys. Uh, probably I'm not sure if I'm gonna be with you next module, but if it is the case, guys, that would be great. If not, guys, um, that's that's pretty much it. Okay. Go ahead, guys, study, finish the platform, please, because that is the most important thing. All right, get some rest, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? All right, take care, guys. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Thanks to you, guys. Thanks to you. See you, see you.